Yosemite. There was a father named Mr. Tree. He was the tallest tree in the whole forest. He was also very protective. He protected his land and his friends. And of course, his son, Birdo, who was kind, playful, nice, and innocent boy. Birdo spent most of his time with his friend, Raccoon, which was a very smart boy, but he was jealous of Birdo. Sometimes, because he did not have a father. One beautiful sunny day, Gator, who was Mr. Tree's assistant, felt the presence of, of filthy, dirty creatures. He went right away to Mr. Tree to warn him. He rushed to Mr. Tree. Mr. Tree asked, What happened? I feel the presence of filthy creatures, said Air. What kind of filthy creatures, said Mr. Tree, in the worry face. Air said, there are creatures called humans. Air didn't know anything else about these creatures. And Mr. Tree said, ordered him to gather up everybody for an urgent meeting. When they were in the meeting, Mr. Tree ordered him to give any information to the creatures they might have. About, about all of them were silent. After several months, the creatures started making more noise, cutting trees and burning the forest. Air was getting sick by disappearing, little by little. The animals burning the f- started to run. The animals started to run away. The forest was losing its magic. For the worst part, when Air saw Raccoon talking with the creatures and hoping that was their evil plan, Air waited to when Raccoon leaves. The, and the creatures c- confronted him while he was talking with them. When Mr. Tree ordered not to do it, Raccoon was silent and then ran away. Air went to tell Mr. Tree about it. When they all knew about it, they were very disappointed and Mr. Tree was very confused. Birdo heard what happened and was very disappointed. Birdo went right away to Raccoon and asked him, Why do you disrespect my dad's orders? Because I'm jealous of you, Raccoon said. Birdo was silent and then said, Why? Because you will father and you and and you, your dad's even the leader of the forest, Raccoon said. But you don't have to be jealous. My father loves you as he much loves me, and he will always protect you and all the animals in this forest, Birdo said. I was thinking about it, and he finally understood. So what do you say? Birdo asked. I say we fat fight, Raccoon replied. They went running, but when they got there, air just disappeared. They asked Mr. Tree what happened. The more the creatures cut down the tree, the more it disappears, said Mr. Tree. They were sad, but they had to stay focused. Okay, attack, Raccoon said, but all the animals were worried because they were not strong enough to attack the ugly creatures. All of a sudden, they heard a loud rumble. That rumble was a herd of raccoons, Mr. Tree said. Birdo and the herd of raccoons attack and bite the creatures and fight them. It was coming back alive, and Mr. Tree called the rest of the animals and said out loud, Attack! All the animals scratched and prickled the ugly creatures. They all looked really bad until the human said, Retreat! They all ran away, and Air said, What happened to you? And everybody in the forest shouted, shouted, Hooray! I hope they learned the rest and to never come back again, Air said. A couple days later, after the after the incident, Raccoon was playing with his best friend, Birdo. He stopped playing and took a deep breath and looked around and said, I'm so thankful to have this beautiful...